All right, these parrots, these are like wild parrots that just chill here. So that blood curdling scream is from them. <laughs> yeah, they're so pretty though. If they come closer and if it was more light out, I would show you, but and they're green. You can't really see it. See, oh, maybe them. But yeah, that's them. But anyways, it is D-Day, aka first weigh-in of the day, or of the day of the year. Let's see how it goes. It's so funny because I was expecting there to be a lot more people here. And there's not. It's like pretty much dead and empty. It's so funny. I've been noticing this. And my watch is like hyping it up like, oh, there's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of people. No. There's like never, these past couple of years since they changed to WW, there hasn't been like anyone. So don't fear weighing in. Hi everyone, welcome back to my planet. My name is Maureen. Hi. So I just wanted to start this off by saying I apologize beforehand for being super low in energy. Like my energy is at a zero right now. It is ground bottom but um i think it's because i got the booster the other day i don't know if that's it but like i it's a struggle <laughs> so bear with me i apologize it is what it is so i where am i where am i today this does not look like my planet it it, it is <laughs> It is. I'm just at the college that's like behind my house right now. It's a little a little change in scenery, you know? To like sort of make up for the super low whatever. Anyways, so I do have some exciting news to talk about and share today. It'll be a good video anyways, I hope. So I had my first weigh-in of the year and my first weigh-in in like three weeks because as you guys know, I weigh in on Saturdays and Christmas and New Year's, it was closed. Didn't go in, went in for the first time today. And in the studio, I was expecting it to be like super packed. There were maybe five people there. I don't know what's going on. Historically, the lines have been out the door and that wasn't the case. But ever since Weight Watchers turned to WW, I've noticed that hasn't been the case at all. I don't, I don't know if it's that or what's happening, but something's happening. It wasn't packed. So that was kind of nice. It was kind of nice having like really few people there because you really got to talk to the leader, blah, 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 and all that stuff. So before I get into my weight loss and how I did, oh, enough about me, how about you? How are you guys doing with this Valentine's Day challenge? That's another thing I wanted to talk about. If you don't know, I am doing a Valentine's Day challenge just to get our butts into gear and to get us like off of, I don't know, just to get us, just to get us into gear, just to get our butts into gear. That's what it is all about. And it's something like super intense. I know when we hear the word challenge, it's scare, it's scary. We freak out because we think like, I don't know what we think like, oh, if I don't reach my goal or whatever I set by this time, I'm a complete failure. I think that's the mindset we go through. No, this challenge is not that. It's something super small and doable that you want to see happen by Valentine's weekend. Mine, it's to get to goal. Am I going to get there? We'll talk about that in a minute. But not about me. So that's mine. Mine is to get to goal by Valentine's Day. What's your goal? It can be anything. It could be, I know some people have said um, water, more water, more steps, more whatever, tracking, whatever it is. It can be a scale related victory as well. It can be, I just want to lose five pounds come Valentine's Day. And if you can do that, if you can do that easy, that go for it, go for it. The worst that happens is we don't reach it but we do more than we would have had we not had this challenge. You see where I'm going with this? So anyways, I wanna hear from you. How are you guys doing with the Valentine's Day challenge? And if this is the first time you're hearing of it and if and you want in, just, just let me know. Just let me know and set your own goal. Something small and doable. Like I want to get, I don't know. 
I, between now and Valentine's Day, I want to actually start exercising. Like that would be a great one. Or I want to actually track a majority of the days. Not all the days, majority of the days. It can be something like that. Whatever you want it to be, let me know. And let me know in the comments, like how's it going for you so far if you're already in? Do you need to reevaluate? Keep in mind, it's only the first week of January. So we got a ways to go, but still, what are you thinking of changing your mix of your zero point foods whatever it is that's what the comments are for let me know how it's going and what you want to do different or what you want to keep doing however it's going for you that's your space to say now let me talk about me <laughs> because the, come on so anyways i got on the scale at my studio speaking of my studio i know one more thing before we get to it um they're closing down I know they're closing my studio and I'm so sad about this because this is like the place that I have started my journey where I wandered in when I was lost. Not literally, but lost when I didn't know where to go with weight loss or whatever. So this is like where I wandered in and it's, it's just like home. And so they're closing it down because the lease is up and it's too expensive to blah, blah, blah. But people aren't coming in. But they're dumb too. Like they took out the Sunday meetings. Hello, that's when people are coming like on Sundays. So I, I don't know. It was just so, it was really sad. But they're not, I mean, they're not closing. They're just relocating. They're going to a hotel now. They're going to be in a hotel. I forgot what which one it is. It's not the Marriott. Marriott. Um, I don't know what hotel it was. Holiday Inn. They're going to a Holiday Inn and that's where the meetings are going to be now. I don't know how I feel about that because they're going to have to, <laughs> poor, I feel bad for them because they're going to have to be like lugging all the stuff back and forth and it's not fun as opposed to like an actual studio where they have everything there. So I, I, I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm still going to go. I'm still going to go. Don't worry. You'll get your... Anyways, I should probably get on to what, <laughs> I should probably get on to my weigh-in. So how did I do on the scale? Well, I'll just let you guys see for yourselves. I know, I mean, yeah, it's good. It's great, I mean, at least it's not plus 0.4, but at the same time, it's like, <sighs> it couldn't have been more. Like I tried these three weeks, I busted my uh, booty, so just 0.4, just 0.4. But at the same time, like, at least it's not plus 0.4. It's better than nothing. Like, it is what it is. I'm good. Do I think I'm going to reach goal come Valentine's Day? I don't know. Why did I lose so little? Because I only have 5.6 left to go. And the closer you are to goal, the harder it is to lose that weight. I know people, and it takes them, like, months and a long time. But So what did you talk about the meetings? He talked about taking it really slow. It was really interesting because he drew this picture and it was like a tree and then it said like goal on it and it had two ladders on it one with three rungs and one with like a lot and he was like if you go on the if you go this way the run the ladder with the three rungs it's gonna be difficult because that means that oh i overate in december nothing but vegetables and you know taking it to extreme measures like i'm gonna run to the gym and work out and then i'm gonna run back home and you know taking things from zero to a hundred real fast it doesn't last it doesn't last long and it's not doable and even if you do get to your goal doing extreme measures you're not gonna stay there and however if you do small things like just buy the exercise equipment for your house or track two days a week or drink one extra bottle of water small things like that that's gonna add up and that's gonna be easier to get to goal and even if you slip a little it's not gonna seem like a disaster so I, I it made me think of this meme or like this image i saw and it was like it and it said i don't know who shared it but it said if your december looked like this and it was like emojis of sweets and all that all that good stuff and you expect january to look like this and then it was emojis of like just salads and said your february is gonna look like this and it was again emojis of all like the sweet stuff and it said instead have your january look like this and it was like a mix of like sweet stuff and bread and salads and like all these things that we should be doing anyways so 
Anyways, let's go back to Valentine's challenge. Uh, for me, I want it to be a bit more water. Why? Let me let me tell you why. So I do this exercise program. It's called 645 and it's on that Beachbody um, service. If you don't know, like Beachbody, it has like all of those types of workouts like Insanity and P P90X or whatever it was called. You guys, you know that, yeah. So this one is called 645. The trainer's name is Amuala Caesar. He's so great because instead of, because along with the exercises, he gives like really good gems of knowledge. He dropped this and I actually wrote it down in this journal. It was that good on water. So you may not know this. So listen closely, all right? I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you. So your muscles are two thirds water. So he said you want to think of your muscles as like a sponge, like a dry sponge. Like if you just have a dry sponge there, it's going to cause stiffness. You want it to move. And if you squeeze and stretch the sponge, you need to put in, you need to flush in clean water. That's what you need. You need clean water for that. And that's bound water. It's called bound water. If you're dehydrated and you work out, that's going to flush in dirty water like water that's already there and that's what causes like the lactic acid clean water helps with soreness so you want that fresh water to come in it's going to come in that's what helps with the freshness and um, it means that your muscles are always elongated also fascia is what your muscles are made out of and they're made out of free moving bond water so essentially if you notice like after a workout or after you do any sort of activity you're like super duper sore and you're like man it's because you're not hydrated enough and you need more water to repair those muscles that's i did not know that at all and it was just like when i learned that and so it makes sense if you're super duper like you just need more water in you it helps replenish the muscles and it's just like like a sponge if you think about it the more wet it is the more like you can twist it and turn it and do all these things however however if it's dry it's not gonna it's just gonna be like stiff right so you want that water to continuously come in to like power your muscles so that's good to know and I do feel like I need more water I do feel like I'm super dehydrated these days how are some ways you can tell if you're not getting enough water let me tell you so TMI time your piece the darker your pee is the more dehydrated you are you want it to be like a light to almost clear color and another thing for me like I just feel it one weird thing that I don't know or that lets me know that I'm dehydrated is like I will I'll crave Sprite for some reason yeah for some reason I'll I'll crave Sprite I'll be like I need Sprite and it's just Sprite it's not like any soda at all no it has to be Sprite like that's just what I want and that helps me know that I've learned that that just means that I am dehydrated so just drop some knowledge on you hopefully you learn something so yeah for as my goal for this week for the valentine's challenge more water now what do i mean by more water again baby steps i drink four bottles a day easily i can get five in i'm just gonna do five when i don't know but i'm gonna i'm gonna do five bottles see it's nothing insane like is that a gallon would five it wouldn't be a gallon would it i don't know i don't think so but it's not like a gallon it's not like two gallons it's not like an insane amount it's just five bottles am i gonna work up from there heck no am i gonna, <laughs> am i gonna keep it at five forever heck no i'm probably gonna go back down to four soon enough but i just really feel like my body needs some hydration so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm also gonna plan out my meals i think i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna plan it out i'm gonna sit and really think about it and I think just keep doing what I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong or whatever. I think I'm doing fairly well. So, I mean, I am obviously, the scale's going down in the right direction, so. But I'm just like, I want more, but I don't want to go to crazy lengths to get more. Like, it's fine if I just keep doing 0. 0.4, like, ugh. it's not ideal, but it, it'll get the job done, so. That's what I wanted to share today. Hopefully this is coherent somehow. I don't know, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go home and be tired on the couch. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. I promise 
future videos. I am. I feel like I'm always saying this. I promise future videos won't be this much of a mess. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on Monday for what I... Do I want to do what I eat in a day? I don't know if you... I don't know. Do you guys want me to do what I eat in a day? Maybe. But I, what I do want to do is how I get 10,000 steps. Like, it'll be sort of a what I eat in a day video. But essentially just follow along with me for my workouts and stuff. So how I get 10,000 steps a day. I think that'll be, that'll be fun. I think I'm going to do that next week. So if you want to see that, subscribe, like this video for this amazing college and, um, leave a comment, drop your thoughts. That I love hearing from you. Drop your, drop your thoughts in the box below and I will see you whenever I see you. Bye-bye.